Hi everybody. So I did go bath, back to Bath and Body Works today, but I went to a different one, the one at the mall. And I wanted to see if they had the new test collection that everyone's been getting online and, but it's only at select stores and sure enough, they had it. So I got every single one and they also had ice lemon pound cake too. I'm going to give you guys a first impression on each one. Um, I am going to be smelling a lot of scents, so obviously I might get something wrong. Um, and it is a first impression, but let's get into this. So first, Ice Lemon Pound Cake. They had, they the girls said that they did bring this out early. They had to have been like maybe like eight on the counter at the register. And this is sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. The packaging is super cute. I like it. And they didn't even have a tester. So this is the first time smelling it ever. And I get, I get why everyone loves this. I get the lemon and the pound cake, the lemon pound cake. <laughs> it is a little light. But not super light. Like I definitely smell it. This is really pretty. Definitely a gourmand. I would definitely love this in like the lotion and body wash. This is good. So I'm so excited to finally get this. I've been hearing so much about this for like the past year and how everyone loves this. And this is like everyone's holy grail. So I'm just so happy to have finally got it. Now let's get into the rainbow collection. So we got Viva Vanilla and I didn't even smell this yet. And everyone's saying it's like a, um, the Wicked Vanilla Woods. And this is Rich Plum Glowing Amber Addictive Vanilla. And this is so good too. This is like a vanilla perfume. Kind of like a woody vanilla. This is so good. This is like a cozy winter vanilla. I love this. Yeah. If you love like um, cozy vanilla woody scents, you would really like this. This, this is really good. Next, Oh Cherry. And this one's Black Cherry Sheer Mongol Mongolia and Tonka Bean. I did hear it's supposed to be like a Tom Ford dupe. Ooh. So I get that sweet cherry. It's like a perfumey sweet cherry. It's not, it's not like um, sweetheart cherry. And I do get a little bit of floral. I did smell the um, Tom Ford Lost Cherry at the store. And I do own the Fineries Not Another Cherry. I think it's a little different because I get more floral in here. And the other ones don't, get, I don't get floral. I get more like almond. But this is good. This is really good. So far, three are really good. Lost in Santel. This is warm cardamom, satin, sandalwood, and cedarwood. So I'm not sure how I'll feel about this one. Hmm. This isn't my favorite because it's not like my vibe, but it's not, I think um, if you're into those types of scents, sorry if you hear people shoveling outside my neighbors. It is spring here in Buffalo, but we've been getting snow like crazy. I think this is good. I think it smells high end. It's just like not my vibe. But wow. I forget which one this is supposed to do. Um, like a really popular Santal one. If you musk. And this is Iris Pink Pepper Airy Musk. So I did hear this is supposed to be duping itself. Um, the Kaleidoscope. And also Kaleidoscope is supposed to be duping Glossier U. Where it kind of smells different in everyone. Um, my daughter loves Glossier U. I am going to spray this on my skin as well. Because this is supposed to be like work to your body chemistry. Hmm. It's not my favorite, not something I usually go towards, but I think it's a good scent. 
And the girl at the register at Bath Body Works said, if you have a scent that is too floral or too sweet, mix this with it and it really like tones it down and like balances the scent. I mean, this isn't like super deep like musky or like mature musky. It's just, it's like a clean musk. Not my favorite, but I, I wonder if my daughter will like it. Covered in roses, ruby berries, sugared rose buds, and blush amber. Ooh, this one's good. This is a really sweet rose. This is really pretty, like a, a really sweet, pretty rose. Mmm, that one's really good. Even if you're like not into roses that much, you might like this, that's good. Floral Fantasy, Peach, Osmanthus, Osmanthus, uh, Jasmine and Warm Patchouli. So this is one I wasn't so sure about because of the patchouli, but I have heard people really like it. I like this. This reminds me of like a high-end like YSL perfume or something. This is definitely like designer, high-end smelling. That's good. This is like a date night, evening. This is really fancy. Okay. And now we have Petal Parade. This is Neroli Petals Orange Flower White Woods. So I'm curious. Okay, this is nice. This is like summery, like sweet candy summery. The neroli, I'm, I'm definitely picking up the neroli. This is good. A very sweet floral, like candied. Wow, that, that one's awesome. On the horizon. This is Watery Bergamot, Blue Lotus, and Drift Moss. This is like a, um, definitely aquatic, like a cool aquatic. I like this though. This is really nice. Kind of, it could, I think this could be like a unisex smell, but it has a sweetness to it. That one's really good too. We have Pink Obsessed. I actually got two of these, one for my daughter because I've been hearing that this is a dupe for Valentino's Born in Roma. So the notes are Blushing Jasmine, Cashmere, cashmere Perline, and Vanilla Bourbon. I don't have Valentino's Born in Roma, my daughter does. But this is good. This is so good. This is like high-end sweet. Oh, this is like a really sweet, girly. My nose is feeling like it's getting plugged up because it is so cold out. This is so good. And the last one in the collection is Getaway Soiree. This is Sunkiss Mandarin Tuber Rose and Solar Musk. Okay, this is like a summery, beachy, kind of like sunscreen vibe. Kind of get that um, mandarin. This is really, I think this would be really nice in the summer. Um, wow, wow. So that is everything. <laughs> so today is the $4.95 sale and I, well, I did go run back and get the second um, Pink Obsessed, but with just all of the new 10 and ice, ice lemon pound cake, 11 cents, I ended up saving $152 and I ended up spending $59.21 for 11 fragrances. So I did awesome. I just wanna go through and say, some of my favorites real quick with first impressions pink obsessed really like that i really like uh was it petal parade floral fantasy 
Covered in Roses is really good. Oh Cherry and Viva Vanilla and Ice Lemon Pound Cake. The other scents, the, the one I like the least is If You Musk and Lost in Santal. Not that they're bad, they're just not my thing. And these ones, well, they're both good, but they're like okay for me is On Horizon and uh, Getaway Surrey. So they're all amazing. Honestly, like if you were interested in any, and if you can find them in your stores, obviously, you know, test them. But if when if they offer them online or when they do, um, just know, like my set preference is sweet, gourmand, like girly. I do like sweet florals. I'm not really into like musky, strong musky scents or masculine scents. So if that helps out at all. And while I was at the mall, I figured I'd just run to pink. They are doing um, $10 on their products. And these aren't super new, but I didn't pick them up in my first haul. And I've been hearing people talk about this being a, like a dupe for wrapped in vanilla. It's the Pop Jelly Vanilla and Dreamy. This is with scent notes of Sweet Pear, Pink Jasmine, and Bubble gum pop. I didn't even smell this because I don't know. I was just excited. I do feel like pink scents are much lighter than Bath and Body Works. Like you get like intenseness when you spray it pink. You have to really smell it. I guess um this would be good for if you're you don't want to smell too strong and stand out too much. I feel like I just get, I don't know if I really get the vanilla. I get like the bubble gum. But you guys, I smelled so many scents. I do think it's very pretty though. I would have to try this out together with the lotion on its own because I just smelled too many things at this point. But if you guys want like any like single review video on any of these products, like I could test out a product longer to see how long it lasts, how it performs. Um, I, I could definitely do that, just let me know. And if you guys found any of these in your stores, let us know as well. Um, I did find it at the Galleria Mall in Chittawaga, New York, on the upstairs level, if you're in my area and you've been looking. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.